the next chapter in our book talks all about Adobe Bridge, which is not Photoshop at all, but we're going to talk about it because it's an important hub and it's good for you to get used to making decisions and organizing your files and making purposeful decisions about where you put things and how you organize them and how you rate and label and do different things with them. Before I get started on Adobe Bridge, I want to show you a couple things. Um, but first, if you are a photography student or you think that you are a photographer or you like photos, um, Adobe Bridge is very similar to Adobe Lightroom. And so you could, if you want to, um, you could substitute Bridge for Lightroom for our class and for the exercises that you have to do for our class for Project 1. I would like you to use Bridge. Please take it with a grain of salt and just keep in the back of your mind that Bridge and Lightroom are pretty much similar. Um, Lightroom, I would say, is 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 a, is a stronger tool for your photography needs, but Adobe Bridge is good for graphic artists who maybe aren't uh, doing a lot of photo work. Maybe they're doing projects and different things. Before I launch the slideshow, I want to open Bridge, and you can open Bridge by installing it. So I have the Creative Cloud here, and I'm not logged in right now, but if I were, I would see an Apps tab, and I could click on that, and I could install Bridge. If you haven't installed it, you have to install it before you get started, or else you won't be able to launch it. Once you've installed Bridge, you can open it any way that you want to. I am, I am uh, partial to Finder. It's a little blue guy on the Mac. If you click on him, it launches a window and you can click on Applications, Find Adobe Bridge, and then you can open Bridge. You can also use your Spotlight or you can use your hard drive if you want to do it that way. However you open it, I would like you to launch Bridge. The first thing that you should notice is that it's not really, I'll put this big so that it takes up the whole screen, it's not a tool for editing photos at all. It's a tool for organizing and and um, labeling and um, I guess it's yeah it's for organizing and rating and labeling and doing different things with your pictures you're not gonna edit your pictures here but you could launch your pictures somewhere else to edit them uh, we're gonna talk about what bridge is so once you get bridge launched you can go ahead and minimize it and we'll come back and we'll launch our slideshow our objectives for this lecture are to talk about what Bridge is and how it is used to manage and organize your files. We'll talk about opening files from Bridge into Photoshop, but you could actually say you could open uh, files from Bridge into a variety of software applications. It doesn't have to be Photoshop. We'll talk about resetting and creating workspaces to increase your efficiency of use of Adobe Bridge. Uh, we're going to talk about it because it's covered in Chapter 3 in your textbook, but also because it will be a precursor to what we learn in Chapter 5, which is how to reset and change workspaces in Photoshop. And last but not least, we'll do some hands-on activities to rate, label, and keyword files, and we'll talk about why that may be important. Um, in addition to these options, you can also look at the metadata of a file and you can set metadata so that if somebody opens your file, they know who took the picture and what color space you used and what color profile and different things like that.